Hey guys, it's Jimmy back again really with just a quick juicing bottling uh, tip. Um, a couple of people have asked me how to properly preserve the enzymes and the nutrients. Uh, you know, please know that whenever you are juicing and you are, you know, as soon as you juice a carrot, for example, and you put the, the carrot in the uh, juicer, you are breaking down the cell wall and what is coming out is live nutrients in the form of enzymes. And these enzymes are extremely, extremely precious and they're very volatile. They're volatile to the air and to the light. Uh, the air and the light actually can destroy the enzymes over time. So it, d don't, don't leave your juice exposed to the air or the light for any longer than, say, 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. You know, always cover it with a cloth or something if you're just going to let it sit out before you drink it. But I recommend, if you're bottling it, to bottle it right away. Remember to use a full lemon. Uh, in your in your juice because the citric acid in the lemon is going to help preserve the uh, enzymes in the other fruits and the vegetables that you do juice. So I, what I usually do is I use three-fourths of a lemon when I'm juicing. So this has got three-fourths of a lemon in it. Uh, as I fill this bottle, I'm not just going to pour this in to the top and just let it rush down to the bottom uh, and expose it to all of that air because these are precious, precious enzymes here we're talking about. So be very, very careful careful with these to preserve these so that they're good for you when you're ready to drink them. So when you are bottling it, uh, you know, tilt your bottle to the side uh, as you are filling it and gradually ease the juice in as it gets a little more full. You can, you can raise it up just a little bit. Uh, you know, and when it's completely full, of course, uh, usually what I do is I fill it about this full, and then I go back and I juice the rest of my little sliver of lemon, and I fill the very tip top with lemon. And basically what that does is the pulp kind of settles to the top, and it creates kind of a pulp plug there with lemon and the other pulp, and it just helps to preserve all those glorious enzymes that are in the, in the bottle. Um, always use a, a, a dark colored bottle. This is actually just a old root beer bottle, I think, and I I just poured the root beer out and because it's a dark bottle and it's it's great they're great to use for for juicing uh, so and, and it's got a, a seal and everything so usually what I do is uh, I make a couple of these and that way I've got a couple for the next day and I don't have to go without my nutrients at work and I I carry them in a uh, a uh, cooler type thing with uh, with on ice of course keep them on ice because they they will preserve better on ice uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you find this video uh, beneficial. Uh, peace, love, and positive vibrations to you all. Thanks. Bye-bye.